Hey guys, John Plan Tech here, and welcome to part two of our third person type setup. Again, for HTML, web, and Windows. Um, but then I don't, I only don't say iOS or Mac because I don't have licenses for those. But, um, so in this setup, it will be a ammo and a health setup, and then uh, dispersing those. So, like, and so like you're shooting in so you're gonna have max mount this is kind of like the intro this is the micro part one and part two and the second one we're gonna like do the actual large ones but i want to keep these under 10 5 to 10 minutes um and then we'll soon be switching actually out to a character that you guys can actually download and use and all that type of stuff and then moving to like an actual environment system uh but at the end of these videos you'll actually see the couple uh at least you know uh, maybe 10 seconds of each being used in its own, own platform, including HTML, uh, Android, and um, Windows. So, okay, so in this, we have our third person type setup. We're going to switch them over to EXE. And here we go. He's moving along. There's a health pickup. Boom. Now, technically, you're not supposed to go over 110. Again, that's what part two is for because I want to keep these down. But, uh, boom, there we go. We have the stuff. So, technically, it should be hey, uh, if at 100 or if near 100, only add what is subject to get it to 100, else don't add it. Okay. So, what do we have? I have a ground scene. So, technically, I can just manipulate the ground but not what that's not what we're here for we're here to collect health health and ammo so we have our third person cube and he just has this basic collide object control by keyboard and health as was seen in the last one but we have some new things. Uh, we have two GUIs which are on create and then you're going to see these over by the create to the overlay item. And then we're going to go to attribute and we're going to go to ammo. Uh, I guess those the little two dot setup money sign ammo money sign that's to tell the system that's to tell our engine that's a variable however you actually don't need to put the money signs anywhere else um and then that's the same thing with the health so but they do have some code assigned to them if we go to behavior uh for the ammo it says every few seconds do something i say every this is actually uh so about a thousand uh, these are about milliseconds, so every thousand milliseconds is actually a minute. So every ten uh, milliseconds, so a tenth of a second, uh, the currency node ammo uh, is going to change text to uh, ammo uh, money sign ammo money sign. So every tenth uh, tenth of a second, it's actually going to update. It's saying, hey update this and then same thing with health that's telling it to update now what else do we need to do so we know we have two signs and then we they're supposed to update every tenth of a millisecond so if we go to our new 3d scene one at the top of your scene graph this is where we kind of put like like overarching code um this like doesn't need to really be attached to something. This needs to be put there in the background. Set or change a variable. And I have two of these because I have two things I'm I'm testing here. One is ammo. Again, we don't need to put the money sign, so we just need to put ammo. Ammo is equal to the value of a hundred, and we can start off with zero. So I can set that as zero ammo, and we're picking up ten. But then, and then if I go over to okay, our scene. Boom, boom. So, okay, before first drawing, do something. We're going to do two things. We're going to set ammo to zero. So it's not just saying ammo, money sign, ammo, money sign. It's saying, hey, it's equal. We have zero. We got nada. And then our health is set to 
set or change a variable health equals the value of a hundred now we have those set up so I'm gonna publish again this again so we can see this because I just changed the variable boom ammo equals zero health equals a hundred cool what does that mean well if I go over to this ammo plasma ammo I just picked up 10 cells and then if I go over to this health I'm at 110 so how, how did I do that how did I go so we, we know okay we're supposed to update these two GUIs or like information panels every tenth of a second and we just told it at the start of this game and on reload hey yo you're supposed to say zero you're su and another one's supposed to say a hundred so it's saying as soon as it pre it's like preloaded in boom you're supposed to say this you're supposed to say this until something has changed until those variables are updated how do we update those variables? Well, uh, on this one, this is a health uh, little pickup. We have on proximity. So if you're near me, I'm going to trigger something in the variable world. Uh, it doesn't have to really trigger something in the variable world. That's just what we're going for. So on proximity to uh, proximity on um, proximity do something we're gonna set a test area sphere but you could also do it for a box distance is 20 uh, sometimes I was having issues with 10 of actually colliding with it so I did 20 but you can play around with that the current active camera uh, into radius do two actions set or change a variable remember these two GUIs are just placeholders so if we can see the code running in the background another setup of hey this is how much ammo you have um, so this one is the health one so it says variable name health remember you don't need the money signs we're gonna add a value of 10 so health health our health variable add value of 10 and then uh, delete and then we're going to delete the C note because we don't it's a picked up we already used it um, delete C note time until deletion one second or one as uh, one uh, one thousandth of a millisecond okay but this is where we're also going to mutate it and, or change it in part two um, so just keep an FYI on that and then on our ammo same thing sphere 20 current active camera enters radius action set or change a variable variable name ammo add value 10 delete a C node hundreds of a second a millisecond billboard one and that would be that and then that's billboard one and that's billboard two. So what did we just learn? Okay, we have two GUIs. The variable names are are ammo and health. By putting money signs, we've told the game engine these are active variables. These are global variables. They are very important in this game level. And then we triggered them by saying when it says, okay, what variable? Well, the variable in this case is ammo and health. Whenever I say health, I need you to affect health. Now, if you were to say health 01 or health 02, not going to do anything. There's no money sign health 01 or uh, money sign health 02 money sign. So it's not going to do anything. So it's just going to refer to ammo and health. And every time you do that and you add or subtract, like if I were to hit space bar, spawn a bullet or project a bullet, I'm going to say minus ammo uh, one. And then when it's going to say, hey, if uh, ammo is equal to zero, we're going to disable the spawn. So um, if, if you press a button and if ammo is greater than uh is greater than zero shoot else nada or put up a GUI that says need ammo and then we can test this real quick for the HTML
boom. And then you can see ammo is zero and health is 100. So we're going to pick up some health right at 110. And then we're going to pick up some ammo. Boom. And then we're going to climb this ridge or attempt to climb this ridge. Uh, attempt to climb. Oh, can't climb that one. Too rude. Okay, so in the next one, we're going to uh, make everything a little bit more detailed so we can have a little more detailed system. We're going to actually do um, an actual like pickup, weapon pickup, so we can actually have a. Uh, we can pick up ammo all we want, but we actually need a weapon to actually shoot something. And then we're going to make an envir in a environment, and then an enemy, and then the actual level. And then we're actually going to make a little mini game. Okay, guys, hopefully you like this. Remember, hit like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any comments uh, or questions. Just post them, and I'll get to them when I can. Peace out, guys.